Finding a profitable idea for a SaaS can be daunting, especially if you're just getting started. In today's video, I've got a list of seven new SaaS ideas that we've dug up from all corners of the internet to help you get your creative juices flowing. And if you stick around until the end, I'll share an eighth idea that leans a bit more into B2C, which isn't typically the focus of this channel, but maybe it's the right step one business for you. All right, let's dive in. From YC alum JD Conley, we've got idea number one, an on-prem version of Google Web Tools. JD writes, something as easy to set up and use as a Google Web Tools requiring no IT, but data is stored on-prem and or in a cloud eye control. I want to have control of the data and authentication slash authorization also have good tools. It could be a combo NAS appliance with SaaS maybe. I would pick one app to start for a proof of concept, perhaps auth, email, calendar, drive. Maybe you would need the whole suite for it to stick. And while you might be thinking that on-prem is ancient history and everything should be on the cloud, the self-hosted software space is still a massive market. At Tiny Seed, where I'm a program director, we've invested in an idea related to what JD is suggesting. It's called Nestify, and it allows you to have most of the functionality of the best WordPress hosts, such as WP Engine, but you can host it in your own cloud or premises. While it's a tall order to replicate Google's workspace tools, it does beg the question, are there other companies out there who would be willing to pay for this? Idea number two is a dynamic sales deck platform. This idea comes from our private Tiny Seed Slack. The founder wants a platform that allows you to tweak a sales deck on the fly. They write, I want to ask prospects questions about their pains and goals, then generate and present a sales deck that includes slides for the specific things that the prospect mentions. I would also like to work in a self-serve context so someone can check some boxes about what they need help with and get a personalized deck and maybe even demo videos. I look at this kind of like a choose your own adventure deck builder where the salesperson can quickly tailor their presentation to closely match what the prospect needs. That way the prospect doesn't get overwhelmed with features and benefits that they aren't even looking for. If you are going to pursue this idea, I'd recommend talking with folks in sales and perhaps founders to see if this is a problem that they wish they could solve. How are they currently handling this scenario? Do they rely on multiple decks? Do they skip slides that aren't pertinent? These are good questions to ask. I should pause here and say that no validation has been done on these ideas, so you will need to do that for yourself. In a little bit, I'll tell you about a framework for pre-validating ideas, but I wanted to mention that as you're coming up with ideas, you might find competitors that are already doing something similar to your idea or even the ideas listed in this video. I think that's actually a good thing. It means someone is already making money with the idea. Now, I'm not saying you should just rip off the idea, but you can find inspiration and look to product reviews for opportunities to build something better. Speaking of creating something better, let's look at idea number three from Jacob Austin on Twitter. He says he needs better software to run a house cleaning business. The SaaS tools that exist are all not good enough. Jacob's profile says he owns a chain of 17 house cleaning businesses. And after looking at the software options to run his business, he says they are all still missing key features like allowing customers to schedule and pay for service. Currently, he's using Launch 27, but says they got bought up by private equity and that they, quote, gave up. I can think of a couple of businesses that started as a replica of a business that was acquired and then wound down. For example, after Slack bought Screen Hero and then shut it down, Ben Ornstein launched his pair programming app Tuple to fill the void. Back to Austin's idea, what I'd be doing is scouring the Facebook groups and other forums where cleaning business owners are gathering to see what other problems they're running into. There could be an opportunity here for someone who wants to dig in and find out what Launch 27 is doing right and where there's still room for growth. Asia Arangio of Demand Maven chimed in on Twitter with idea number four. She writes, I want something that aggregates or searches for relevant research in specific industries or markets. Think Google Scholar, but for niche stuff that for-profit analysts and experts put out. For example, Microconf's State of Independent SaaS report. So here, I think the key would be finding specific industries or types of analysts to develop this idea for, and then figure out how much they might be willing to pay for the access. Idea number five comes from Kat on Twitter. She's trying to find a digital asset manager, often referred to as a dam for her small but growing startup. Digital asset managers are used to organize things like logos, photos, videos, documents, 3D models, all in one place so your team can find everything efficiently and also so that they can be consistent in what they're using. So Kat said she looked around and everything was expensive and had like a thousand features that she doesn't need and almost all the existing options have a book for demo sales process. 
In fact, we went to Google and after wading through the front page, we saw plenty of these request pricing pages and the cheapest option we could find was a whopping $438 per month. If you could develop a simpler self-serve digital asset manager for the earlier stage market, you just might be able to carve out a nice business for yourself. Rob actually followed a similar tactic when he launched Drip. The legacy providers were bloated, overpriced, and had a poor onboarding process. Of course, these days, there's got to be an AI idea on a list like this. And today, that idea comes from Tobe on Twitter for idea number six. He's looking for AI-powered software troubleshooting. He says the SaaS would have the context of all the files in your code base. Users would also feed it the text, images, and videos from support tickets. Then the app would use AI to identify potential causes for the issue and propose solutions. So my thoughts here are it might be tough to generalize this across software development, but perhaps you could find an initial language to get traction in and then roll it out to others. For number seven, we have our second idea from Asia Arangio. She writes, I'd like something that aggregates or searches for conferences and events in your industry or market. I usually have to search through tons of blog posts to find things relevant to SaaS research and product. The databases that do exist don't seem to actively crawl the internet. Conference owners have to submit and approve content, so most of them don't make it into the databases. I think the key here is how much data you can compile and how you monetize it. I would avoid making this a public directory monetized by ads. Well, that could make you tens of dollars per month. The real business is if you are able to charge your data like Crunchbase or Built With do. I'm not sure there's enough data to make this worthwhile, but if you were able to crawl the web and catalog in-person conferences and events, there might be a way to charge for that data. The first step would be figuring out who would be willing to pay for it. In a minute, I'm going to tell you the B2C idea that would merge data science and gamification. But first, I wanted to recommend episode 628 of the Startups for the Rest of Us podcast. In it, Rob talks about his 5 p.m. pre-validation framework that'll help you evaluate business ideas, including the ones in this video. The episode is pure gold that you're trying to decide between a list of ideas that you've gathered. We'll make sure to have it linked up in the show notes. All right, so idea eight comes from Boris Bubla on Twitter. He's looking for I code this for data scientists or maybe even for AI engineers. The app would have daily challenges for aspiring data scientists to solve with automated evaluation of the answers and a community to share and discuss solutions. So this idea does lean a bit towards B2C since it'd be solving a problem for individuals instead of businesses, but it would make a really interesting step one business. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. If none of these ideas are well suited for you, no worries. Maybe you should watch this next video. In it, Rob lays out seven places to find SaaS ideas that you might be well suited to build. Thanks for watching.